Ford. We have Broadway star Ann Tveit here in the studio. And we also have an audience full of frontline workers from the city that never sleeps in the house seats. Gives yourself, gives yourself, <laughs> give yourselves a hand while I have a drink, apparently. Um, <laughs> you guys are the heart and soul of the city. Everybody knows that, especially at this point. So before we get to our next guest, I have a little something for all of you. Lord knows that y'all deserve some real R&R &R after the year you've had. So we are sending you and a guest on a five-night trip to the remarkable resort destination, Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas. You will enjoy five miles of magnificent white sandy beaches, gourmet dining, aqua venture, a 141-acre water park that sounds amazing, 11 incredible pools, world-class golf, a casino, a spa, that's right, ladies, the marina village, and much more. I am so jealous of you right now, but I'm so happy for you at the same time. It's a very confusing emotional state. Um, Y'all enjoy, look at, he's still freaking out. <laughs> uh, one thing is for sure, New Yorkers truly know how to come together in tough times. My next guest is proof of this. Despite her own dire situation at the start of the pandemic, she rallied the community together to help keep a nearby food pantry open. Thanks to her efforts, the pantry now serves nearly 2,000 people a week. She is what we call a good neighbor. Thank you so much. Dialing in from Sunnyside, Queens, let's say hi to Sophia, everybody. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Kelly. Oh, my God, I'm so excited to meet you. This is amazing. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us. And meet Aaron. Say hey. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Aaron. Oh, my gosh, I love your voice. I have a crush. Oh. Ah! I know that vibrato. I was like, oh, hey, okay, Aaron. Um, but, can, Sophia, can you tell us about the people who come to the pantry? So, um... I knew that if my family was struggling, that there would be other people in our community struggling as well, and and many of them um, fighting food insecurity. Uh, my local church, Mosaic West Queens, started the pantry here around March, and so I started volunteering. So uh, the people that generally come to the Mosaic Community Center Food Pantry are people that perhaps lost their jobs or their sources of income um, due to the lockdowns. And so what we know is that there's also some shame sometimes behind that and people are or perhaps feel a little bit embarrassed. Um, we have people that perhaps have three to six months of savings, right? That's what we're told. You should have the three to six months worth of savings, uh, perhaps people that have never had a savings account. And so what we do know now is that um, we've, we've just got people from all walks of life um, that, that are coming to the center, to the, to the community center. We've got a lot of a lot of artists, especially in Sunnyside, that are just trying to make their dreams come true in New York City. And so while it is hard to see people struggle, um, you know, being able to, to help them is really what keeps us going. Absolutely. And you, I hear you spend your own money, yeah? Oh, so um, back in April of 2020, the, the pantry has grown tremendously. Back in April of 2020, we served 800 people. Um, we are currently serving 2,000 people um, every week. And so that's been wild. But back in April, there was a day um, resources, you know, can get can get difficult, especially during difficult times for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so there was a day back in April um, where we were running out of food and there are approximately 200 people still on the line. So I ran to the grocery store with my own credit card. I spent $500. That was not enough. I ran back spent another $700. I, I didn't think, right? I just acted. I did not want people to go hungry. Um, and I went home that evening super defeated and really in tears because I knew I couldn't possibly sustain that. Um, and so uh, what I did was I, I know Sunnyside and Sunnyside comes out in a big way when people, when people need help. And so I started a Facebook fundraiser, uh, $5,000, which I thought was a pretty lofty goal. Um, to, lo and behold, we raised $43,000 in under three months. And so have really been able to step in and, yeah, wow. and, and continue, could just kind of continue our efforts here. Wow. Have you seen any of that? Like, you know, I know being in New York, like, 
Have you seen, I know people struggle, but have you seen them kind of pivot in any kind of way? Yeah, it's, it's been, I think it's great to see how people have done that. And I, I lived in Astoria for over 10 years, so, you know, neighbors to Sunnyside. It's just so amazing what you've done for the community. Um, I recently, uh, mm. I'm involved with uh, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS, yeah. which, you know, actually in the spring mm. usually takes a lot of time with the shows and people, the audience, they put money in red buckets when they leave the theater. And obviously yeah. they couldn't do that this year, so they did a virtual fundraising because they wanted, you know, that to continue because that their work is so vital and it trickles down to social service agencies across the country. So we actually just finished fundraising for that but it's just so special what you've was done it for as your own. profitable like or did it did it yeah they did i think um i think the we raised uh over nine hundred thousand dollars which wow. then was matched by gilead to 1.8 million dollars yeah wow. so it was really a incredible thing that it's people, incredible that everything didn't stop we yeah, can still help people and people yeah. you know the 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 a great thing about virtual and the internet is the the reach that people and anybody anywhere can kind of donate to it so mm. it's been you know, it's it's so heartwarming to see stories like yours with people just stepping up and, you know, helping helping everyone around them, the even if they're helping each other. struggling. Yeah. Yeah. Really special. Uh, I actually want to bring three people into the conversation right now who have all developed deep connections to the food bank, thanks to Sophia. Everybody, say hello to Aaron, Lucy, and Stephanie. Hi. 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 I'm so good. Say hi to Aaron. Hey. Another Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's start with Erin, shall we? Um, so how did you get involved with the food bank? Oh, well, um, my husband, David, and I are both touring musicians. And when live music went away with the COVID, uh, so did our livelihood, which was pretty devastating, as I'm sure Erin can attest to. It's been, it's been pretty hard. So, But we had a lot of time on our hands, so we went for long walks, and we saw all these long lines of people waiting uh, for something we didn't know what. And then we found out that they were actually waiting for food. And we thought, well, that's, this is our neighborhood. There's gotta be something that we can do to help. Yeah. And then I luckily met the amazing Sophia Moncayo and uh, her wonderful team at Mosaic. And so we started doing concerts. We thought, you know, maybe we can, we'll do a few virtual things. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll raise a couple hundred dollars. Um, just, you know, just Zoom, nothing fancy. And um, in those two concerts that we did recently, we've raised over $10,000 so far. Wow. And we plan to do Yeah, 100%. Um, so Lucy, I'll talk to you now. How did you hook up with Sophia in the pantry? Hi, first of all. Hi. <laughs> um, I was furloughed from my job last year after 24 years of working there. And I came across Sophie, as I call her, on Facebook. And I wanted to do something positive. So what I decided to do was ask if I can volunteer. And that's what I've been doing. And it's amazing to be able to work there, not long, only along with her, but also you get to see the other side of the coin working at the pantry where all the families come in. They don't know whether the food is gonna come for their children any other day. We help them with that. We give them a smile. On top of that, we were receiving a lot of moms with just asking for baby essentials, hmm. diapers, wipes, baby clothing, formula. So we were helping them with that. So along with Sophie, we came up with a program for toddlers to help the moms out. So once a month, we help them with diapers. And on top of that, we ask them if there's anything that has changed with them. Do they need anything? It has changed my life. The community just comes together with just a simple posting on Facebook. The whole community just pours out and helps out. So it is amazing. And I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love that that is kind of the silver lining of the situation is really getting to know who your neighbors are and really helping out, you know, within your community. And maybe that wouldn't have happened otherwise, you know. So Stephanie, the food bank has been a lifeline for you, right? Yes, uh, I would definitely say that it has been. Um, it's been, you know, really tough. My fiance and I both lost our full-time jobs mm -hmm. last year. And we also welcomed our second child, my daughter, at the end of March when everything was kind of going crazy. So when I heard about the pantry on Facebook and I heard about Sophia, I reached out to her right away and she was so welcoming. 
So I did go and I didn't know what to expect, but it was, it exceeded my expectations in every way. You know, they made everything so personalized. Um, even on Christmas, you know, they had gifts for the kids and the program that Lucy mentioned, the infant program with the diapers and the wipes, as every parent knows, is a huge expense. So it's just incredible the work that they are doing and the changes that they are making in every family's life that walks through those doors. So I personally just want to say thank you, you know, to Sophia and to Lucy and to all of the volunteers for all the work that you guys do and making it possible for this community to uh, thrive and to survive. Thank you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Sophia, I love the great work that you're doing and to help out, um, we're gonna give you $5,000. How's that sound? Is that helpful? Yeah. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Thank you. No, it's a wonderful thing what you're doing. It's just a beautiful thing for the community. And, and it was awesome to hear people from, you know, all walks of life and, all, and helping out in different ways. Cause it also all of you ladies just showed everybody how you can help out as well. Like if someone going, well, what am I gonna do to help? You know, it was a really, really great thing to give people ideas and inspiration. So thank you so much for joining us today, all right? Thank you. Thank all you so right. much thank for, you. Having us. for having us. 100%. And y'all continue that sexy little couple time with the music together, that's <laughs> nice. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. <laughs>